Today I'm going to show you a video which I have developed under the guidance of Shri Karma Yogi, our founder. Learning environment focuses on the three C's, cramming, competition and career. In order to bring out the genius that is present in every child, these three C's have to be replaced by curiosity, creativity and confidence. I came across a very interesting definition of holistic learning. Learning from your whole being. Is such an education possible? Can children be encouraged and inspired to give their whole? One approach towards such a learning is to understand the relationship between abstract facts to arrive at a greater knowledge. As Aristotle quotes, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. This is one of the lessons which we have converted into a video. This is my son's first standard ICSC textbook lesson, The Kite. It talks about a child who is trying to fly a kite but is unsuccessful. So he goes through this whole experience in learning how to fly the kite. Now we are going to see, the, this looks really dull. It looks, uh, it doesn't interest the child if this is a textbook lesson. So how we have developed this into a very interesting video which captivates the child. Roy has a new kite. Look at Roy. He looks very happy. We feel happy when we have a pleasant emotion of intense joy or excitement. Why do you think Roy is happy? Roy is happy because he has a new toy. Very good. When do you feel happy? Look at Roy's kite. A kite is a flying toy made of paper. It is flown in the wind with the help of a long string. The string is tied to the frame of the kite. We have to adjust and pull the string to make the kite fly higher. Do you know where the first kite was made? Kites were invented in China around 2,800 years ago. Kites were used for measuring distances, testing the wind, lifting men, signaling and communication. The first image is of a kite which is used for lifting men. Do you know what the second image is? Yes, it is called a parachute. It is also a form of kite, but it is a modern day kite used for lifting men. The first kites were made of silk and bamboo. Silk is a cloth made from the cocoon of silkworms. Bamboo is a plant with a thick, long stem. Now toy kites are made with paper. Cocoon is a protective covering made by insects around itself using its saliva and grow inside the cocoon. Can you imagine that the silk cloth which is so beautiful comes from silk worm? Look at the silkworm cocoon. Look at the silkworm inside. Look at the second and the third image where the silk thread is removed from the cocoon. The silk threads are collected and woven together to make a fine silk cloth. Bamboo is a woody plant with a hollow stem. It belongs to the grass family. When a bamboo is harvested or gathered together, it can be used to make many things. Bamboos are used to make paper, chopsticks and even the floor of your house. It is one of the fastest growing plants in the world. 
In China, people eat some parts of the bamboo plant called shoots. The stem of the bamboo plant is very strong and bendy. That is why it is used to make the frame of kites. Roy's kite is also made up of bamboo and paper. Oh no! We almost forgot about Roy and his new kite. Roy is very happy about getting a new kite. He is trying to play with it. But Roy is sad. He cannot fly his kite. Sadness is the feeling of loss, despair, grief, helplessness, disappointment, and sorrow. It is quite the opposite of being happy. But why is Roy sad? He just had a new kite. Yes, he is sad because he is unable to fly his new kite. Can you remember when you felt sad? Roy runs up and down the street with his kite. Still, the kite does not fly high. Look at Roy. He is a good boy. He does not give up and keeps trying. To enjoy the kite, we have to learn to make it fly high. Only by trying and working hard, we can learn anything. Then Roy goes to Ijaz's house. The two friends try and pull the kite. Ijaz is Roy's good friend. It is always good to trust your friend when in need. When you work together, you can accomplish any task. But the kite just comes down again and again. Do not give up Roy and Ijaz. You will definitely succeed. Here comes Ijaz's grandmother. Go to the park, says Ijaz's grandmother. It is windy there. Whenever we keep trying and do not give up, someone definitely comes to help us. Your grandmother is your mother's or father's mother. In many families, a grandmother lives with her children and grandchildren. Does your grandmother live with you? Is she your mother's mother or father's mother? Does she tell you stories and give you sweets? What else does your grandmother do? Ijaz's grandmother asks the children to go to the park. A park is a large open area of land with grass and trees. It is usually surrounded by fences and walls. People can walk in the park and children can play in it. Do you have a park near your house? Do you play in the park? What else do you find in the park? Ijaz's grandmother asks the boys to go to the park because it is windy there. Wind is a current of air blowing from a particular direction. Kites are heavier than air and need more wind or moving air to lift it up. Without the wind, if you throw the kite up, it will just hover and fall back on the ground. The boys 
run to the park. Now Roy's kite can fly in the wind. It is always good to listen to your elders as they are experienced. Ijaz's grandmother gave them a good advice. Ijaz and Roy listened to the grandmother. Now they can enjoy flying their kite in the park. A family is a very integral and important part of your life. Some children have big families, some have small. The elders in the family help you to grow intelligent and strong. They all share their experiences with you. It is always good to listen to your elders like Ijaz and Roy did. Your school is also like your family where your teacher gives you knowledge and tells you about many things. You spend a lot of time studying with your friends and spending good time. If you want to be happy, always give respect to your elders. Listen to them. Show love and kindness towards your family and friends. Help everybody around you. Thank you for watching patiently. This is exactly how it's just an approach, it's an idea. This is how we need to expand each and every lesson to make it more interesting for our students. Thank you very much.